How, how y'all doing? My name is Will John. I'm a specialist, a crossbar specialist, and today we have five horrible habits that you do not want to do. See, I don't have any of these habits, and that's the reason why I can hit that crossbar right over there. My name's Will John. I don't ever miss the crossbar. Let's start this video. Point number one, when mistakes happen, you stop. And if you're wondering, if you're wondering what's going on with my voice, that's my real voice, you guys. I only talk like this because J. Mike can't understand a word that I'm saying in my real accent. I'm from Kansas, that's how we talk. It's not, but that's what they think, so I just let them believe that. It's, anyway, point is, is that when mistakes happen, you should not stop. The most common, this is the most common, and it's hilarious because this is the first one, and it's the one that I saw every single time from every single place that I've played in the world. I've played on many different continents, in the top leagues, right? And when the young players get a chance to play at the highest level, what happens? They go, they make a mistake, they put their head down. Everyone screams at them. Everyone's, there's no time, once you become a pro, right? Because some of you guys have aspirations to become pros, some of you guys are just playing for fun. The point is, is that when you're on the field, all of the guys who are veterans that have been there, they know that the time that you take sulking around, thinking, oh, what happened? Why did I miss that pass? Why did I miss that shot? Why did I, all that stuff? The other team has played. They don't care. No one cares. They pass, they move, they get out, right? And most of the time, when you put your head down, you miss an opportunity for you to make up for the mistake that you just made. So when you make mistakes in the game, do not put your head down, keep going, always keep going. A little bonus here today from the Wilster. You will notice that every single point that we have today will help you on the field and off. On to the next one. You only do work when you're forced to do work. If you think that that's a good habit to have, you are confused by a whole lot because the very first thing we have to know is that you want to be there. You want to get better. You love the game and this is why. Okay, if you know why you're there, if you know why you're playing, if you know why you love the game, then you can go and do anything. You will endure the tackles, the pain, the trainings, the late nights, the early mornings, all those things will be very easy for you to handle. But if you're in a position right now where the habit is, I'm only gonna do a little bit of extra training if they make me do it. Don't expect success to happen. Don't expect things to get better. Don't expect anything, right? You can expect what you put in. If you put in a lot of work, if you put in the right smart kind of work, not over training, then you can expect to get something from it, right? That's what we want you guys to understand. And if you can do that, and if you can look for ways to put in extra work where you know you're gonna get a return, the beauty of getting in the habit of doing more than what's expected from you is that only a little bit will bring you a ton more. Not everybody wants to do extra running. Not everybody wants to do extra training. Not everybody wants to meditate, visualize, to do all those things. By you doing just a little bit, it can send you way beyond where everybody else is. You're performing and training, but not in games. Everybody's got one of these guys on their team and maybe it's you. Now, this is something that all of us will go through at some point in our footballing days. It's okay. The point is, is that you've got to notice if this is a habit. Are you hitting banger after banger in training and then come game time and it's just like <laughs> That's the sound of your shot. What are you going to do about that, right? Well, the point is, is that you need to first identify that that is what's going on. How come I keep doing it in training, but I can't in games? The very first point that I noticed is that most players that have this issue have decided that training and games are different, right? And some of you guys are like, well, it is different, Will. My girlfriend's here, everybody's watching, the coach is watching, people are there, the TV, the camera crews, it's different. No, it's not. Nothing changes about the game. The grass is the same. You gotta go against these guys. These guys want the ball. You wanna kick the ball in the goal. Nothing has changed, right? Yes, it's bigger. It's open space. Yes, they're not your teammates, etc. right? But the problem is that you've made some sort of switch. You've gotta turn that block and you've gotta use it against yourself. And what that means is that in training, trainings have to be games. You've gotta take the same mentality that you have in training, you've gotta put that in games, the same one that you think that this is a game, this is serious, this is what most of the time you're taking training and you're just, you're relaxed. So in the game, be relaxed, let it go, let it flow. You have to do these things. If you haven't noticed the high performing guys, they are enjoying themselves. Most guys think, and 
that was a, a, at 16 with my ability to go and to train at a, a professional club at the highest level in my country and to see that these guys are just joking around the whole time. The second the, the whistle comes on, boom, they're serious. Let your mind flow, relax. Take the same mentality that you have in training on having fun, on relaxing, on trying to get better. If you can make the game about you getting better at everything, every aspect of your life, then you, my friends, will take your training abilities and you will crush it in the game. We've got a mid-video crossbar. That's right. Mid-video crossbar, my friends. Let's hit it and, oh, let me put it over here. I don't want you guys to miss this. I want people saying, well, you don't hit the crossbar. Yes, he does. Guy hasn't hit a crossbar since 1966, boy. Oh, God. I think it touched. We'll count it. Uh, if you haven't noticed, I am stupid. I'm a college dropout and I can't do math. You guys have seen that in the latest, in the latest videos. So where am I going with this? I'm going with the fact that I have learned from every single one of my mistakes. And not only that, I've learned from the mistakes of others, which is what you should do. And it's a horrible habit for you to have as a player if you actually think you can't learn something every single time you step on the field or from any player, no matter what their level is. You see, I got the chance to play, and I don't know why this guy did this, I got the chance to play chess against the Grandmaster. I'm not good at chess, guys. He smashed me. It was done in like 20 seconds. But you know what he said? The reason people don't get better at this game is because they don't learn from their mistakes. So don't be that guy on the field that whiffs every time, that's offsides every time, that loses the ball in bad positions. Don't be that guy. Watch yourself, see what you can do, analyze your game, and learn from your mistakes. You watch video after video of every unisport. Will John, you're just watching these all the time and what happens at the end of the day you don't change. Is that my fault? Is that our fault here at Unisport that you don't change? No, it's your fault, my friends. That's right, hard sauce. Will John delivering the hard sauce today. If you want to get better as a player, you have to apply everything that you are learning in this video. That's the thing that matters most. You can watch all these things. You can look at Ronaldinho do this. You can watch Messi do that. Mbappe goes here. If at the end of the day, you don't take this stuff and you don't go start training, you won't get better. All right, can I get a ball? Let's, just a second guys. We're gonna take this really slow. I would like to get a ball, please. I don't, I have nothing. Jesus. That my friends is the video. You go ahead and leave us a like, comment, and subscribe and check out everything from us here at Unisport right down below in the comment box. If you, if you, what, what, what is a comment box? Description box and comment section. Guys, if you don't subscribe for this, we leave this stuff in here. Okay, I'm just talking out of my mind, I'm crazy. We love you guys, check all our stuff out for real. I'm gonna put this ball inside the goal. I've decided to you know, expand my repertoire of skills. I'm gonna bend this ball into the goal. See you later. God damn it!